want to do United now? We can do United. After Arsenal, we know the probabilities came out the gate pretty strong. 70, 80, I even heard 100. I want to go to a very contentious team. My team, my love, one heart, the Manchester Red. I see the smiles on boys' faces. I want to start with Nirav, his second team in his heart. Nirav, rate our defense. <laughs> in reference to other teams and other team defences I would say 6.5 on 10 with Lenny Oro's injury and Johnny Evans on the cusp of coming back into the starting 11 I'm not seeing a lot of hope in centre-back situations Lissandro is good but he needs a really good partner with him someone who's tall strong left back I don't know Luke Shaw is made out of plastic so I'm not sure like if he's going to sustain the whole season Dallow is good A I think Van Bissaka is going to West Ham so you don't have that one dude who locks up like the wingers uh, you 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 have Dallow who's creatively good but you I mean you, you're losing that one style of uh, right backs and then Onana is I don't know what to like think about Onana literally like he's just a weird guy yeah I, I read United's other like midfield and defense uh, and attack way more than the defense I think defense is like the weak point I think I'm being a little bit more uh, six and a half is a good rating I'd agree AJ quickly unmuted go ahead AJ no 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 <laughs> I was gonna say you're being generous, but yeah, that's all. <laughs> Not gonna comment more. <laughs> yeah, I think I even even with Yoro and like bro. yeah, it's it's you're being very generous with the with the ratings. But I don't sure. know what the scale is, yeah. right? Five, six, whatever. Yeah, I think you have a very bad defense. Four, five, 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 six. Just put it that way. Where where are you like? Where are you docking the points, AJ? You don't have a big centre back like Lisandro Martinez. The whole league is moving towards uh, big physical profiles. If you see, even the runners are big physical profiles. The defenders are big physical profiles. The strikers definitely are. Solanke, uh, uh, Haaland, and all of these people, right? Havertz, big lanky dudes. So uh, defensively, in terms of heading, that definitely plays a part because Lisandro Martinez, for all his great work that he's doing, is a great defender, but he can't really just add a few inches to his height. That's just not going to happen. Then to count to that you have to play probably Maguire in the current squad you might get Delict or somebody else but like in the current squad you'll have to play Maguire which exposes you in terms of the pace and like you know the moments moment of madness that comes into play from there to cover Maguire you used to play Aaron Van Pisaka who you're selling and you're getting an attacking center uh, attacking uh, left back in Missouri which again is kind of like exposes your defense a little bit more and Dalo has had a great season last season so if he can replicate it then maybe you might be fine but then there's no no, no backups out there so we have a five and we have a six and a half uh, rebuttal time boys Wamsi said or just plain the agree and move on no I think like reasoning so far is very fair I would also give it like a 5 I genuinely feel that this is not going to be our final defensive squad when the transfer window ends like United will definitely get one more centre back it can't be just Lenny Euro and okay we have Maguire and Lindelof again that is not happening we definitely there is some movement happening in terms of delay or whoever it is in terms of a centre back and that will be a ready to come into the first team squad sign it won't be like a progressive sign that you get in slowly and then you know build up to the so if that happens Aaron Van Bissaka might leave we might get Mazravi so yeah so if if a good centre back comes in with an attacking right back then it probably goes to a six and a half seven because even then you still need a lot of defensive depth given the history of injuries we've had so far and we, we need we really need Lissandra Martinez to stay, stay fit the entire season because I don't think we have another alternate in the left centre back position apart from them. So all these things have to really fall into place for it to be a average, like acceptable defensive squad. Is Delict a left centre back or a right centre back? He's a right centre back, primarily. Wamsi, well, anything add to all the Leecha slander you heard or uh, you know, I was thinking about like what boys is somehow right, we found ourselves in the same situation ever since Ole. We start with the same centre backs, Lindelof and Maguire somehow end up playing as a pair the most games. It was John Evans last season. We've signed Euro, ended up in the same situation. We've signed Lissandro, ended up in the same situation. We've signed Malasia, ended up in the same situation. So we're signing players, but somehow we go back to being in the same circumstance. I, I don't understand this, how how it's possible. But if I was Ten Hag or Road or whoever, literally on the pitch, I think they, they, they should be able to use a pattern. And the only way to do that is to get new bodies in and sell the ones. Out. Just so you're <laughs> not going back to the same square. <laughs>
right? Irrespective yeah. of who you buy, you don't want to be in the same circumstance. And this is probably the biggest thing that needs to be done in a transfer market. And somehow we've not come here. We've started with Lenny Oro. We've not come here. But I agree with Sid that you know we're we're about three signings away from pushing mm. this defense from a five to eight. And I think those are like the key ones to add like one one point each. That's a left back, a right centre back. And the right back. Just Five, to very and very and quickly and add, I uh, just wanted mm-hmm. to like mention on Lenny Euro. I think might be a blessing in disguise that he's out for a bit just the start of the season because immediately there was so much hype around this young 18 year old centre back coming from France, and I think it just allows him slightly more of an adjustment period out of the limelight to you know get back into the rhythms and get into the squad and feel more comfortable. It won't be a situation like Onana where he's just thrown in right into the deep end of the pool and now he's just struggling. to you know like get grips in the game so i feel it might be helpful but yeah that's a separate talk silver lining i agree to that actually in the interest of time let's quickly move to mm-hmm. because we are all over the place for defense but i think i'll give us somewhere around a 5.5 at this point uh, with the current squad that we have with midfield i want wamsi to take us away yeah the definitely one of the strong points of united i'm going to rate it at least an 8 on 10 i think bruno kase and meno will i think they'll finally have enough time to sort of gel and play a core part of united if kase can stay fit i think it's i know bruno will stay fit to play through whatever the 8 is a good casemiro it goes down to a 7 if you know we are unable to find a cdm or he loses form or he gets a red card then then starts becoming an issue bro strong so, rating coming out of the gate after strong. you saw the canyon the, i saw yes. the grand canyon in between last season so aj any comments bro no no comments i i, <laughs> you, I can't bring in so much negativity please somebody please go ahead nirav can you bless us <laughs> All good. Bro. Eight on All ten. Good. I'm out of this conversation. Eight on, eight on ten. Eight on ten. Uh, uh, I mean, eight. <laughs> like I, like n- no, but whatever. Said. <laughs> 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 yeah, if it's Casemiro playing, it cannot be an eight in my opinion. Casemiro, I think we saw in the in yesterday's game as well. Like he is just all over the place. He's throwing tackles nowhere. He doesn't have that mojo in him to even like fight for a place in the squad. I feel just the same as last season. So we desperately, desperately need to replace Casemiro. If Casemiro starts as a CDM, I don't rate our midfield more than a six, despite having very good players in different positions apart from the CDM. I feel like Bruno and Menu. Mount is getting minutes finally. He's starting to like play and like gel with the squad. So I think we have a good foundation in those three. McTominay is can only be a plug in the holes wherever we have defense. He can't he can't be like a main starter. So we really really need to sign up like a new strong destroyer and cent- central defensive midfielder. It cannot be Casemiro. Casemiro at the best in my opinion is just like a substitute at this point unless he proves. Everybody else wrong. Right now it's a six again. Depends on the signings that United bring in. We need to get new CDM. If a new CDM comes in with the expectation that we want him to match, then probably a seven, seven and a half. With are cautious, there any like, like are there any <laughs> really good CDMs out there that could like you know enhance the squad? I hmm. so don't we see just, a bunch. We yeah I I I I agree. Um, I think right now United are linked with like Ogarte, Zubi Mendy, and Fofana maybe, but. most realistic would be ogarde because psg have signed jao nevas and they want to get, get rid of that player whom they will not be utilizing at all so if that happens ogarde is a good fit because he's more of a like a ball retriever and not a progressive passer so we just need we have enough people to make progressive passes in the squad like menu bruno rashi so we just need somebody to like plug that canyon that we saw last season We have, yeah, a, we have a player and we have a player yeah, and Rabiot Arsenal. Also been Since Greenwood left, I think there is a gaping hole in Manchester United squad for criminals, and we have one really good alleged, player. Alleged, alleged. Still have a alleged criminal. He'll destroy. Criminal. He'll, destroy <laughs> he'll destroy everything. Yeah, for seeing this, including I mean, his, since, including his hamstring. <laughs> since since you guys yeah. are looking for a left-footed uh, winger, we'll trade one. Alleged for alleged. Yeah, alleged. <laughs> sure, think, let's think, do that. I think we'll keep our alleged. <laughs> we can't do a fidget. <laughs> cool. Mm. Moving to the attack. Who wants to take us away? I think I'll I'll, I'll do it, bro. Because you guys feel shy. <laughs> 
think like uh, I would rate that attack as a uh, eight on ten. To be very honest, Ooh, I think that's wow. the the attack is the attack plus Bruno are the only reasons why I have United in the top four. You can't put Bruno four. in midfield and an attack. You choose one. No, 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 I'm saying no, no. I'm saying listen to me. What I'm saying, I'm saying attack <laughs> plus Bruno is why I have United in top four because I think midfield is Bruno and nobody else in United and attack Rashford. I think is going to come back. Is going to probably have like a twenty. 15 to 20 GA season again. Rasmus Hoyland probably will have like a better hang of the league. You have a second striker who who is. I mean, I don't rate him as highly as some other people, maybe as highly as Hoyland. But I think you have a body who is able and who has played with your coaches before, so they know his strengths and they can use him in a way where he can be useful. And then Diallo and Sancho. If you can use Sancho a bit better, I think you have like a pretty decent attack, pace, trickery, everything, finishing. Yeah. yeah, quickly. I I think I'm just gonna disagree with that. I think uh, eight is generous. I would do seven just because like uh, there are a lot of attackers who have a lot of who have a point to prove. But it's the fifty fifty right now. Like I don't see anyone anyone can like put all of their money on one attacker doing well. Rashford is like alternative season wonders. Sancho is Sancho right now. You don't like he's had he's had issues in the squad before. Diallo is just coming up right now. He's looking good. Hoyland unproven. Anthony is Anthony. Zerxi unproven. I don't see any one. Proven proper attacker who can who you can bet your money on. Uh, yeah, that's me. Same. I would yeah. slightly disagree. I think Rashford, given all his criticism, is still proven. Yes, he has like just those flip flop seasons, but I feel like given the break he had over the last two months, and he's looking very sharp in the pre season so far. So my bet is on Rashford to at least show glimpses of the Rashford we saw the season before the last season. So hopefully that happens. Hoyland Zerxi is a good setup to have for your like strike. position because you need two people in that position to rotate at least and Ahmad is going to secure the right wing for himself this season that's my hunch so i think it's going to be decent maybe 7 7 and a half from my end yeah at least a 7 point for crazy we didn't even talk about the nacho everyone knew yeah. every other player except the nacho so there is depth there uh, you don't rate him no bro you won there in the last spot <laughs> i mean i rate him a lot of people rate him the lc city also rates him after what happened <laughs> nice season in some game yeah definitely a 7.5 i agree with neerav that there's a lot of players who have a point to prove garnacho included to nail a starting spot i just don't know where but yeah my breakout star would be to have amar diallo to lock lock up same lock up yep and like actually have at least five plus good plus assists so both uh, of you call... on one so <laughs> i'll take five so both of you are calling out amar as the break- got star for this season yeah i'm not even going to ask arsenal boys for the opinion because they're going to answer the other question who at united will have the highest ga diego dalot the bar is low last season was probably scott mcdominay just that's just a mistake <laughs> diego dalot please please diego <laughs> dalot marcus rashford marcus i want to hit nira on the head if you, if i was in new york with this diego dalot pick but Someone do it for me, please. When you I, say I have a lot yeah, of reasoning, it. but forget it. Go, sir. Yeah. Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll allot some time I'll for this logical reasoning. Bro, like, like confusion, confusion matrix, Eric ten Hag ball. So only crossing is gonna help, and you have headers in the other thing. So Dalo might break break the assist record. So not Bruno, but Dalo. Like that doesn't make any sense even now. Okay, but. for real, cool. actual take, I feel like uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be Garnacho. He might just like nail the position. Around the room, what is the probability of United making a title challenge? Ten percent. For me, twenty percent. Twenty percent. Five. Yeah, ten percent, bro. Ten percent. Why am I being so generous? Second, you love United, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What? I think so. Personally, I'll answer. I think I think there is a very slim chance of this happening. Like the five ten percent callouts are pretty good. If everything clicks and if there are no injuries. And no injuries, I don't think is not a thing at United since Eric Ten Hag came in. So if everything clicks, no injuries, I see a world where we are, you know, sir, Ferguson level lucky with goals. <laughs> we might just end up in the title challenge, but otherwise, I don't see it. Okay, probability of us finishing in third or fourth around the room. Forty percent. Forty percent. Sixty percent. Being Obviously. hopeful. Sixty percent for four, about fifty percent for third. Wow, very specific. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's do the fun thing. Probability of us crashing out of Europe altogether. Ten percent. Not happening. Fifty percent. Zero percent. Bro, you, your math is not adding up, Nirav. My Sorry. math is not mathing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, there's a logical reasoning to this. If United are doing well till the end of the season, I feel like they take it all the way and like finish third, like fourth, third. But if they're crashing, right? I feel like Eric Ten Hag goes if things are not looking well, and if he goes, there's a, again a limbo. So I feel like same thing, like new manager comes in or a Rude assistant, is still right. whatever. A root takes over. He takes times. He takes a little bit of time to set his methods yeah. up, and then you crash out of Europe. That's the reasoning. <laughs> 